Yesterday, I said we were done with the girls, and I lied to you. 1984 Henri Pichard, Jailhouse Girls. <laughs> now this is a banger. As the kids say, this has synth pop in a jail setting. This is a woman in prison movie that happens to be fun. There's a bunch of mistreatment, but it's poppy at times. The music in this is so good. It's a bunch of funk and a bunch of synth pop. It's, I, I, I love it. I love it. All right. We're going to talk about Ginger Lynn a lot after the movie, but she is a poppy hotel receptionist who wants to be a model. I love that opening scene where she's, you'll see it, where she's just playing by herself. But being this receptionist at a hotel is what gets her in trouble, guilty by association. Watch out who you hang around with. If you're wondering, does Quentin Tarantino like this movie? Yes, he does. There's no feet, but it's a woman in prison movie and it's a revenge flick, female driven. Man, wait till you see all these girls in the paddy wagon. Oh, I want to, I'm going to make something with this. Just the women chained on their way to prison. It's a cool music. This film was 84 minutes long. We got ours down to 24. This one got bumped up from G to PG, from smokes, a couple soft swears, meanness, violence, and jail as a whole. You don't see many G-rated films taking place in Laka. Henri Pichard, we've done a lot of his films and he's done a lot of taboos. Taboo American Style, one through four. We've done all those. Taboo Eight, written by Richard Mailer. We've done that. The final taboo, he likes taboo, but also Mascara and now Jailhouse Girls. These are all on our channel. Henry sure likes to stick with actors that he likes. American Taboo Style, the miniseries, the four-part miniseries. Almost all those people are in Jailhouse Girls. We're gonna talk about all the actors after the movie.
terrific. Joanne, I have worked with Cheryl, Brooke, Christy. You are the best. You are absolutely fabulous. I love this. You are... against you in court of law. You have the right to a shut up. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. And blah, 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 and all that other nice stuff. what they all say. Ain't that the truth? You know, she's kind of pretty, you know, to be a con, you know what I mean? Ah, con. Those are the ones you gotta watch out for. Ah. Just last week, I was driving up this bay. A redhead, a real knockout. Anyway, this girl, she was incredible. Do you know what they got her for? Electrocuting her parents. I'm shocked. <laughs> yeah, well, she said that she got tired of them complaining. Ah, uh, these kids, they don't know what they want, you know what I mean? They have no idea what they want. Yeah, only 19 years old, too. What a waste. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe you're right. It's those young, pretty ones you gotta look out for. <laughs> yeah. What'd they get her for? Look, everybody is bending and twisting all my words around and trying to make me look like a criminal, and I'm not. I'm not. Hold on, wait, hold on. You know, maybe, maybe she's right. Yeah, you got a point. You know, really, they're kind of performing a public service. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, I suppose you were just in training to be a high-class fashion model, huh? Yeah. Look, look, girls, look, look. Just, just calm down, right? I'm gonna go back there and take care of this, all right? I'll be right back. The reason I come back here is because I don't like people arguing in my transport van. number, all right? Because I want you to call me. Open them up! Prisoners, come in here! Walk 
You don't talk. You don't breathe. You don't even fart unless you're told to. You got that? Come on, all the way. Let's go. Okay, next, number 5739210. Come on. Okay, open your mouth. Now, so I tell them over at State Evaluation, I ain't working any overtime on the weekends under any kind of rotation system. You don't know what? You don't need to touch. Raise your into yourselves. What's your name? Joanne. Hi, Joanne. I'm Paulette, and this is Jane. Who is she? <laughs> we call her Killer. She's pretty tall. Hi, Killer. Nice to meet you. Um, what do you do if you have to go to the bathroom? Sit on it. McIntyre! McIntyre! Joanne McIntyre? The warden wants to see you now. It's okay, sweetheart. The warden meets with all the new girls just to explain the rules and the procedures. It's really nothing to worry about. <laughs> Come on, let's move it. Follow me. Especially on a nice day like today, but rules and regulations, you know. You learn very fast. You've got to be very careful what you say around here. Excuse me. You've got to be very careful in what you say, and you've got to be very careful in what you do. Got to play the game, honey. You know the game, don't you? You see, I have the rules. I decide who comes, and I decide who leaves. I decide when they come, and I decide when they leave. What about the parole board? My parole's up in six months. Well, I am the parole board, dear. Of course, I can be a very lean parole board, or I can be a very difficult one. It uh, all depends on how you play the game. Now, uh, if you see any subversive activities of any kind, any goings on around the jail that uh, might make you suspicious, I want you to tell the old warden. I want you to tell me right away, okay? You want me to rat on them? Exactly. You're shy, aren't you? You learn fast. Number 5739213.
Welcome aboard. We understand you didn't sleep very well last night. Well, we're going to give you a chance to be all by yourself. Where are they taking them? Probably the tower. Is it absolutely necessary to go all the way up to the tower? Yes. Do tell us. We'll return you to your cell immediately. Is it safe? Yes. You have to eat to live. Give her a couple days back here and she'll be our old troublemaking self. She's not a troublemaker. Believe what you want, but they don't stick girls in here in solitary for no reason at all. She's sick and she needs help. Joanne, you're in prison. You have to understand something. Everything they do in here has a purpose. If she needed a doctor, they'd get her one. She's not all right. Listen to her. I'm probably motivated to make a positive contribution to society. I'm probably motivated to make a positive contribution to society. I'm probably motivated to make a positive contribution to society. Come in. Oh, that is here to see you, sir. Oh, good. Send her in, Margaret. Sure, she seems to be going over to the other side. Who? You mean that new girl, Joanne? Oh, boy. 
Didn't you tell her how the system works? Didn't you tell her that she's got to play along? No, you don't have to worry about Killer. You fixed her good enough to us. She won't be talking to anybody for a long, long time. Oh, could you just keep it that way? I'm not sure I can handle her by myself anymore. She's beginning to get suspicious. Let me speak to Jacko. Hello? Yeah, we have a problem in cell block D, a prisoner named Joanne McIntyre. Take care of her. I don't care how, one way or the other. You could just do it. Dear Mom and Dad, how are you both? I hope you miss me as much as I miss you. Prison isn't really too bad. I mean, at least I'm still alive. I wish I had more friends, though. Jane's my friend. They took her away and changed her, but she's getting better now. Killer doesn't talk much. And Paula, I don't know. I'm not sure I trust Paula. I wish I had a good friend here. I do. But at least I'll be getting out in a few months, and maybe I can even go back to modeling school. I miss you both, and I love you. Give my love to Mr. T and tell him I know what it's like to be dog food. Hi. I hear you've been now uh, misbehaving. What are you talking about? I mean, you haven't been a good girl. You know what I mean? Yes, I have. I've done, I've done everything by the rules. I've tried to play along. Maybe you haven't played along good enough. You know? Try. <laughs> sure you have. Yeah. Come with me. Now. Jacko's been talking to the two of you, huh? Yeah. And we decided to play the game. Killer, you've decided to play the game, I don't believe it. Why don't you both have a seat? We can talk about it. Go on. Uh, you guard like my here. You want to close the door? I like that. It's good. the two of you decide to, uh, play the game. We heard it was more advantageous if we played along, right? That's right. That's why we both came in here. Jocko! What they do to you?
Our plays can. include the beautiful Ginger Lynn. Just so hot. Locked up in the cell. It's Big Joey so Silvera. But I'm gonna spread my wings and fly. The rising star raging. Doing time wasting away. Christara Barrington. Because the reason I'm living George Payne. I'm just a prisoner, baby. Chelsea Blake. Waiting for your love, can't you see? Dick Howard. I'm just a prisoner, baby. Kelly Nichols. And say you set me free. Taja Ray and the ever ready Jerry Abel. And Paul Thomas as the little warden who could. Each day seems like a year I'm growing old and lonely So tired, so depressed But freedom is getting so near All right, what did you think about that? Was it a banger? I don't know if anyone in the audience has ever watched um, I Shouldn't Post This, my old art vlog. We just shot a new episode. But I ask you, is it a banger? Not a banger. People who turn soft G's into hard G's? This is not a banger, but it is a banger. Ginger Lynn. I don't know a weird coincidence. Ginger Lynn was in the last movie I watched as a human. Not at work, at Barefoot. On the big screen. What's Love from 1987 is on this big old Vinegar Syndrome old exploitation release. Ginger Lynn was also in the Vinegar Syndrome New York Ninja, she did a voice on that. She has been in tons of cult films, tons of adult films, still working today. She was in one of the best films I saw in 2023, Murder Size. Have you seen it? Oh my goodness. Now I usually don't like the throwback retro stuff to like 80s and 90s, but Murder Size is amazing. It's free online. Please watch it. It's a Kansas bowling film. I love Kansas bowling. What a name. But she is cool as hell. And I can say that because this is PG. She was that kid. She made a horror film when she was like 14 years old. Trauma released it. Ginger Lynn. Still working today. Still knocking it out of the box. She's been in a bunch of Rob Zombie movies. Her and Linnea Quigley, who's also a New York ninja, they were Vice Academy. Linnea Quigley left the project, but she stayed. She was in all but one, I think. I think she was in Vice Academy one through three, left for four and came back for five. We haven't done a lot of hers. She was in Taboo 4, so you can see that on our channel. But even in her adult film days, she was in Silk Stockings. She was in NYPD Blue. She was in Young Guns 2. She had a, two trajectories and nailed it in both constantly, all the time. She was in one of the American Pies band camp. I've never seen it. Now she has three main homies in lockup. Christara Barrington, Kelly Nichols, and Raven. Raven is also bubbly. She plays Paulette. Oh, Ginger plays Joanne McIntyre, very bubbly, even in under dire circumstances. Raven as Paulette, also bubbly. Christara Barrington as Jane and Kelly Nichols as Killer are not poppy at all. Jane has been beaten down by the system and she barely talks. She's went into her shell. Killer has also been beaten down by the system but she's turned mean. And can you tell by her name? She's just mean. She's the muscle of the group. Taja Ray is also in this. And a bunch of dudes. Who cares, right? Am I right, guys? Paul Thomas is the warden. Joey Silvera is the transport. And a bunch of people I didn't name. All right, I hope everyone's having a good Saturday. The few of you that'll watch it today and even the fewer that have made it this far. Tomorrow is a brand new one. And then I'm gonna try to stay on my grind to do more of these. Man, if you're watching this, I freaking love you. Seriously, I need more of you. I need more of you.
I don't know what to do, but I appreciate you. Not in a fake YouTube way, in a real starving artist way. Thank you. Terrific. Joanne, I have worked with Cheryl, Brooke, Christy. You are the best. You are absolutely fabulous. I love this. I love that. We might be losing that. I wish I had that. We need to. Horace. Horace. The girl went out now. It's a rooster.